hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we are going to see how we can install your android applications on your laptop or your workstation so you got so you might be wondering how is it possible to run apps on your windows so yes, there is a solution and that solution is called as BlueStacks. So in today's video, we will see a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you will install this particular application and how it will start to work as an Android simulator. So the first thing which you need to do is you will open this website. I'll leave the link in the description. So once you will open your website, so it will give you two options. So the first option is BlueStacks 5. The second one is BlueStacks 10. So I'm going to use this particular version as it seems new. So if we click on see all versions. So currently they have blue stacks five, four. So the difference for these two is, so it's using like Hyper-V and this one is using 64 bit. So this particular one, blue stacks five, it is optimized for Windows 11, which is the latest version. For Mac operating system, this version is not available as of now but blue stacks 5 so it runs on 64 bit can be used on windows 7 or windows 8 and it has a version for mac os for users who are using mac os now we will just click on download blue stacks and you should see a download bar which will complete the download once that part is completed so you will click on the installation part and one installation is done you should be able to see something like this. So once you will open that particular blue stacks window, you should be able to see something like this. So now we can see it is giving us an option of like Google Play Store. So once we will click on home. So let me open Google Play Store. And I'll click on play. And it will open a new window in BlueStacks app player. So it's taking a bit of time to do the loading. So it will look into the optimization as per your graphic card or your RAM memory. So now you can see we have Android Play Store. It is the exactly same version how you will see it on your Android one. So taking an example, let's suppose if I want to install Instagram. So I'll just directly click on install and then it will start it immediately. Now it's asking for my account details which I've already added. So you don't need to do this option. I'll just click on skip because I'm not doing any in-app purchases. And if we also want to install any particular game, so let's try with uh, maybe Mortal Kombat. So let's click on install. So it will install in the back end. So we will wait for Instagram to be completed. On the other hand, if we want to use any browser, so it is currently giving us multiple options in terms of games or anything. But if you want to use any browser and we should be able to see or there are some streaming applications which work on your mobile but not on your TV or your laptop. So you can download them from here too. Let's take an example of uh, Okay, so let's take an example of a game which I recall from a while ago, Angry Birds. So let's search it. So we should be able to see multiple versions of that. Let me try this first one. And as you guys see on your taskbar, so it's doing the same part. It's saying Mortal Kombat is about to be completed in two seconds and it's now downloading some additional files. So let it complete and meanwhile, we'll explore the other options. So if we go to apps, so we can see multiple apps. Even you can install your WhatsApp, Messenger, PayPal, Zoom or anything. The next part is if you go to movies and TV, you can watch movies as per like Google Play. There are a couple of books which you can uh, like browse through tons of other options. So if I go back to games, so there will be categories. So people like who are maybe interested more in football, so they can search for FIFA, soccer, or maybe let's say hockey or cricket. So let's search any game for cricket. 
yeah so it says like cricket australia live real cricket 20 let me try this one it's been a while i haven't played these so let's go back and see the progress so it's taking a while again and if i go back one more time so let okay finally angry birds has completed so let's click on open and we are seeing like simulator as it works in our mobiles so let's see how it goes next okay so as you can see the game has started so let's click on continue and we will have to allow it and now the game is starting up okay it has gone back to so the game has started in our mobile or anything else so let's see the tutorial so i will on this particular one and that's it so it's exactly the same way how you will play these games on your mobile so we will get out of this one so we will be good for like app development people so whenever you are rolling out an application on android so you can test the apk version on this particular platform so it's very simple to upload your apk file in the back end and then you will install it and that apk file will be deployed on this particular uh, like blue stacks emulator and you can run it and test the performance of it and how the controls are performing so let's okay so let's cancel this one and let's go with ebay let it install and next we will check is maybe kindle so one minute mats let's try this one so ebay is about to complete in the back end ebay has been completed let's search ebay sorry in the wrong section so we will go back here for you so ebay and it's about to install yeah so it has the installation has been completed so we will click on open and it's the same version of your mobile so how food drinks and you will see all of the options so let's go to coffee coffee beans okay so the internet connection went up and now i can see all of the options here so that way you can install any application which you want all of the applications got closed and this is your main desktop of your mobile emulator where you will see play store we have installed instagram so it's already here and it says like graphic settings need to be adjusted so i don't want it for now let's try kindle so kindle has already been installed let's try this one so it will open exactly as on like your cell phone so let's say let's try addition add zeros or one so let's say four plus one equals five show hint i don't need a hint so that's it and we will click here So now we will go back and we are back here on the main screen so let's close all of your other applications so if you want to explore your directory so how this particular directory of this android emulator works so you can download an application called as file explorer or file manager so usually i prefer this particular application called as explore but let's go with file command manager so let's click on install and it has already begun in the back end so hopefully it should be done soon says 13 seconds 
and let it run for some more minutes probably and i think it should be done in any time soon okay i think it has completed let's go to home and we will and we will wait for the icon to appear here so the icon is here let's click on file explorer and it's asking my permission so i'll click on continue and just skip this step not required we don't need a trail so okay so now it's asking us to allow access to our files photos or media we will click on allow okay so now we will see how our file system looks like so tap to grant permission got it so as you can see internal storage looks like the same way as your android so you will see download option or you will see dcim for your photos so this thing works exactly as your mobile so let's go back to main menu one more time and you can like transfer a pc file so click here okay got it click on on now this particular addresses my device ip which i will add on my device and i should be able to transfer the file using like that ip or using a wireless method so that's how you can install multiple apps how you can simulate them and that's it from today's video guys so stay tuned for more interesting updates in future